Oh, oh, okay. Here's here's one. I used to work at a blanket factory, but the factory folded. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, one-way ticket to Squaresville. Uh-oh, Cymbeline's bored. I guess we should talk about something more interesting, like, oh, I don't know, her birthday? You must be so stoked. Come on, princess. What's your biggest birthday wish? Dad, I already told you what I wanted. A reasonable wish. Oh, just forget it. Doesn't matter anyway. <gasps> Doesn't matter. Listen, Cymbeline, this family lives by rules. As you get older... I'll appreciate the importance of those rules. Fine. Whatever. You're the boss. Cymbeline, what's the best way to get a guy to ask you to a dance? What? I mean, there's this guy at school. He's in your class. And I really... Angie want him to ask you out. Yeah, to the Magnolia Ball on Saturday. Why are you bothering me with this? Who cares? I... Well, you're my big sister. You always... We always... Gosh, you don't need to be so grumpy. Is something wrong? Hey, what's going on? Around here? Nothing. You're acting really strange. Come on, let's talk about it. We sisters have got to stick together, right? Like Mom always said. Yeah? Well, Mom didn't exactly stick with us, now did she? Cymbeline! Look, things change. I'm almost an adult. Go enjoy your family time. I'm on to bigger things. Princesses, let's eat. class these are just a few of the elements that make our world so enchanting which brings us to something truly fascinating zinc
Atomic number 30 on the periodic table of elements, zinc has six times the electrons of boron. Yet for pure sizzle, neither can compare with seaborgium. Atomic number 30 on the periodic table of elements, zinc has six times the electrons of boron. Yet for pure sizzle, neither can compare with seaborgium. Yes. With its coy symbol and sassy name, Seaborgium really struts its stuff with 106 electrons. These are just a few of the elements that make our world so enchanting. All right, class, start your experiments. Cymbeline, hey Cymbeline. What? Time to do our experiment? Oh, oh sorry, guess I was kind of zoned. Yeah, no doubt the little lady was daydreaming. About me. <laughs> Not unless she's into leprechauns. Very funny. Are you? Because uh, I got a little green suit at home and... Sorry, not my thing. Pretty princess. Fairy stories? For shame. Uh-oh, you are so busted. Mademoiselle Yasmin? That doesn't look like a chemistry book to me. Oh. Mr. Del Rio. Whoa, new girl. This is Lena. She's a transfer student. I'll be all hers by sixth period. Yeah, Dylan. And leprechauns are real. Lena. Now I just gotta get her number for my LBB. Your what? LBB, Little Black Book. <laughs> I've got all my honeys in my LBB. Hey, mine, mine! LBB, huh? Dylan, you haven't gone out with any of the girls in this book. Okay, back to work. Come on, guys. Everybody do their equations? Yep. Right here. Sorry, I forgot. Cymbeline, I've got to get an A in this class. Oh, come on. It's just one assignment. You act like it's some kind of disaster. Hey, got chemistry? Sorry. Brianna, Cymbeline's little sister? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was wondering, are you going to the Magnolia Ball? <laughs> yeah, that's right. She's finally feeling the chemistry. <laughs> what? Her radar is picking up my love waves. Excuse me? Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry. Did you ask me something, uh, Brina? No, nothing. Never mind. See, Chloe? What were you so uptight about? We finished. No thanks to you and your jazz siesta. Later. Cymbeline, hey, wait. You know, sometimes I have to bring a book to class to keep chemistry interesting. But if you don't get with it, you're gonna fail. Oh, I just sat through one lecture. Spare me another. What's going on? Lately, you seem changed. Well, I guess some people grow up. Others don't. Sorry, gotta fly. <laughs> Does Cymbeline know her? How could she know her? She's new. There's something going on with her. What she needs is a date for the Magnolia Ball. And I know just the guy. Hey, people. Hi. Maybe if you could keep your focus on just one girl, one would finally take you seriously. That's cold. You don't understand. It wouldn't be fair not to spread the wealth. <laughs> I mean, when you're a man of irresistible cool like the Dill Master. <laughs> hey, my comb's in there! My hair gel! My LBB! Come back! Come back, 
your mangy penguin? <laughs> there goes Mr. Irresistible Cool. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, on second thought, you can keep the backpack. None of those girls called me back anyway. Missing something? Uh, Lena! Where'd you...? Wouldn't want to lose your LBB. My backpack! Uh... How'd you, uh... I gotta get going. I'm late for cooking class. Come here. There's something I want to share with you. I... I... I kinda gotta get back. See, we're moving on from toasting. Shh, you're not nervous, are you? N no No, I... I follow strange girls into the forest all the time. Hmm, that's what I thought. So, follow me, because I've got something way more fun than cooking. Hear it? Hey! You like that? Yeah! Where's it coming from? I'll be only too happy to show you. DJ, the music lineup is jamming. That's great, Bunny Boo. The caterer is all set. Awesome, cool cat. Where is Cymbeline? I thought she was meeting you here. Yeah, well, she flaked. But her dad is funding the ball. 
she's the lead organizer. She wouldn't flake. Something must have come up. That's not like her. I don't know what is like her anymore. We think she's gotten herself into some kind of trouble. What? Chillax, Angel. Not Cymbeline. She is the most together person I know. Not anymore. Well, something's up, and I want to find out what it is. Come on, guys. Let's go over to her house and talk to her right now. Bad idea. You know how strict your dad is. No one's ever been invited to the Devlin home. You better just call her. We tried and tried. She's not picking up herself. Chloe's right. I think this is serious. Top of the evening to you. <gasps> Brianna! Taking off. What are you doing? Sneaking around. I'm not the one sneaking around. Where are you going all the time? None of your business. Since when is it none of my business? We tell each other everything. Says who? Fine. I'll just ask Dad where you're going. I'm sure you've gotten permission to fly off after curfew. And I'm sure he knows about your early birthday present. <gasps> you do that, then you can forget you ever had a sister. Ow! You're hurting me! I'm sorry. It's just... It's a secret. I don't want Dad to know. We've always kept each other's secrets, haven't we? You won't tell him, will you? I mean, we sisters have to stick together, remember? But... Why can't I come with you? Maybe. If you promise not to tell Dad. It's really great. I can't wait to show you. Really? What is it? Is that what you got? Told you they like their privacy. No one's home. Let's go. Yeah, I have to finish my essay on the history of modern law enforcement. Hello? Brianna? Hi. It's Yasmin. And Sasha and Jade and Chloe. Is Cymbeline home? I'm not here. Get rid of them. No, she's not here. Can we come in and talk to you? Talk to me? About Cymbeline. What about Cymbeline? Why don't you let us in? Uh, sorry, can't. My dad said no guests till I finish my homework. Well, let us in and we'll talk to him then. Chloe, pushy. No! I mean, he's not here either. I gotta go homework. Bye. Pretty princess, did we drive all the way out here to take that for an answer? I think not, Angel. Give me a boost. W wait a minute, you can't trespass. Why not? Didn't you say a friend in need? What if she is a friend in need of privacy? Let's just wait till we see her at school. But I have a bad feeling. Drama Mama, you've had a lot of bad feelings that turn out to be nothing. Sasha's right, I am not breaking and entering on a bad feeling. We just want to help. Maybe you want to poke your nose in where you are not wanted. Fine. You don't have to come. Is it too much to ask that you wait and give us a ride home? Aiding and abetting. Aiding and abetting. All right, all right. We'll wait. <sighs> now, the question is, how do I get... <laughs> Come on in. You are on your own, Drama Mama. <laughs> Some great friends you are. I thought we stuck together. We can stick together back in the car. Come on. Wow, look at this place. It's beautiful. When I'm out of school, I'm building a house just like this one. the deadly lawn gnome in the middle of the walkway. Let's check and see if anyone's around the back. She wants. She's after your family. 
darkness creeps back into the forest, the Freelands and its good people will be in peril. Yes. Yes, I know. Did you hear that? Dad cannot know that you two are here. But we are here. And we're not leaving until you tell us what's going on with Cymbeline. So fess up, or we'll march right over and ask your dad. Shh! Oh, you wouldn't. Try us. There's nothing going on. <gasps> what's that? Stop! Don't go up there! Colleen's got yourselves a million miles away from here. Whoa! Don't you know when you're not wanted, huh? Go in, go away with you, skeletal. What would your man think if he got the likes of you, non fairy people on the premises? Well, now there's an idea we're thinking about, huh? Is this the way it is in the modern world? A fine day it is when the little people are torn from their slumber to find a pair of you lurking about like you own the place. It's a secret, a secret, I'm telling you. Never let me see you rotten non fairy folk around here again. My master, M A S T E R, master. What can I do for you? Y O U, you. Name anything. A N Y T H. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> Try to remember for the last time you're my servant because you're under a spell. You're not my spelling servant! I'm sorry. S O R R. One more letter and you're pixie dust. Sorry. Do you remember your instructions? Do I ever. I'm counting on you. Now go! I am but your humble servant. <laughs> Why don't you give it up, Chloe? April Fool's was two weeks ago. You're late. I swear on... on my new boots. Those are really styling, by the way. Thanks. Got them on sale. Nice. We both saw Cymbeline fly off in a flash of white light. Not to mention that crazy little man chasing us all over the place. He looked more like some kind of lawn gnome. A really angry one. Like that lawn gnome I kept tripping over. Maybe it was their butler. Uh, well, what about Cymbeline? I mean, the girl grew wings. Yaz, you need to stop reading those pixie stories you're so into. I think you both need more sleep. Oh, hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put it in a box and then we'll let it go. Greetings, my ladies. Ma who? Hey, where the heck have you been? You were supposed to help me hang lights for the ball yesterday. What matters where I've been? I've been here, there, everywhere, hither and yon. And here go I. I've got a very important date. Very important date. Toodaloo. What's gotten into him? He seems 
happy. Bizarrely happy. Suspiciously happy. Really happy. Hmm. So, see you people later? We got a lot of decorating to do. Yeah, sure. Ugh, they don't believe us. Of course they don't. I wouldn't. Hey, there's Brianna. Come on. We've been looking all over for you. Oh, really? What in the wide world of pixie dust is going on? Your sister can fly! Shh! Well, are you going to tell us what's going on? I... I can't. I have to go somewhere right now. Not until you tell us what we saw last night. I... I can't. Why? Where are you going? Uh, I'm meeting someone. It's private. What, like a date or something? Kinda. Yeah, I guess it is a date. So you see, I can't bring friends. Hmm, who's this hot date with anyway? Come on, fess up. Who's the lucky guy? Do we know him? Uh-huh. Really? Who is it? Come on. All right, it's Dylan. Dylan! Shh! Well, yeah, he asked me to meet him somewhere. Where? Whisper Hollow. Whisper Hollow? Shh. Something's weird about this. We're going with you. But... Okay. Dylan hates the woods. What would Dylan want to meet you there for? Well, I was hoping he changed his mind about going to the Magnolia Ball with me. Maybe he's trying to be romantic. There is nothing romantic about Whisper Hollow. agree to meet a guy alone in the woods again. It's not a good idea. I mean, Dylan's harmless, but still. What were you thinking? She's a freshman. She's not thinking. Shh! Wait! I hear something! Rabies? Oh, anything's possible. Especially after what we saw last night. You stay here. We better talk to him first. <sighs> okay. What gives, my lord of the dance? For you, my treasures. Dylan, did you get into Mr. Del Rio's chemistry supplies? <laughs> Where'd he go? <gasps> oh, look who's crashed our party. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, let's not forget our guest of honor. Come along, princess. 
Simile? <gasps> what are you doing here? What's going on? Oh, you'll find out. Believe me, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Now we all can dance together. that we didn't believe their crazy story. It's no excuse. Friends are supposed to stick together, no matter what disagreements come up between us. It's not like them to pull a no-show. Speak of the devil. Hey, Angel, pretty princess. What's the big idea? Did you address me? Guys, why haven't you called us back? How come you didn't come to the ball committee meeting? Uh, I guess we had something more interesting to do than lame charity work. Okay, what is going on? Why are you dressed like that? <gasps> Wicked, huh? We're going to a costume party tonight. Uh, excuse me? Like, tonight is the Magnolia Ball? I think we need to be there. Huh, too bad for you. Sounds like a drag. I'd say, come to the party with us, but, huh. You're not invited. But you're supposed to be at the Magnolia Ball at nine, remember? Oh, our party starts at nine. Ain't it a crime? You do not mean you're gonna miss the ball. You girls are a little slow, aren't you? <laughs> they sure are. Cymbeline, you're the committee leader. Your father is funding the ball. I cannot believe you would bail out. Try harder to believe. Come along, ladies. Oh, by the way, you don't happen to know where Brianna is, do you? Brianna? No. We, like, really need to know where she went. Oh, yeah? Well, I, like, really need to know where my friends Yasmin and Chloe went. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened to our BFFs? That new girl did something to them. Whoa! <laughs> that creepy lawn gnome there. <laughs> What's wrong? I... I... Your sister's looking for you. Where is she? She left. Are you hiding from her? Yes. It's awful. What is going on? I can't tell you. Why not? If I tell you, I could lose my sister. I couldn't bear it. I already lost my mother. Oh, oh I wish she was here. What happened to your mom, anyway? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. No one does. Ten years ago, Cymbeline's birthday was coming up. And Mom took us shopping. She gave us our charm bracelets. There, four charms, one for each member of our family, to represent the bond of strength between us, as long as we are together.
me back, but until then, you must remember. Be brave, hold on to each other, never let go, you hear me? Never let go, and you'll be safe. Right after that, the storm let up, but my mom was gone. We never saw her again. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. It's really none of our business. It's okay. I've never talked about it, but I feel better now that I told someone. Well, that's what friends are for. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Like why your sister and everyone else is acting nuts? Okay. But you've got to promise to keep this a secret. My dad has this thing about us not mixing too much with people from the outside. The outside? People not like us. Huh? Okay, come with me. Our world can choose if and when to reveal itself. But with these, you can choose. Put these on, but you can't tell anyone. My dad will banish me. Pixie folk. We need to be left alone to help people and nature. That's what pixies are supposed to do. My dad is the king of the pixies. He oversees the running of nature and promotes good works. Like the Magnolia Ball. Exactly. So, Yaz and Chloe were telling the truth about Cymbeline having wings? Yes. Pixies get their wings and magical powers when they turn 18. And you don't grow them unless you do good. Cymbeline begged my dad to give her wings ahead of time, but he refused. I don't know how she got them, but if he found out, he'd freak. I have to find out where she's going at night. I know it has something to do with it. Too bad she flies there, otherwise we could follow her. But your friends can't fly. We'll follow Chloe and Yasmin to the party. Uh-oh. But the ball is tonight. This is more important. A friend in need. Aren't you coming with me tonight? Oh, well, I... What about the Magnolia Ball? Come on! A loser charity ball to save trees? That's Dad's thing, not mine. I've got something so much better going on. You don't want to miss it. And I'm gonna tell you my secret! It's so incredible, Brianna! Well, cool. Let me go put a warm sweater on. Sure! Get ready to finally have some fun! Sasha, she's not coming! It's 8.30! Maybe we better go to Chloe and Yasmin's and follow them ourselves. They've probably already left. We missed our chance. <laughs> Hurry! I barely got away from her! 
Anna, we're worried Curly and Yasmin won't be home anymore. Never mind. I have a feeling I know where they're going. Girls, I guess I was wrong. Maybe I should have gone with Cymbeline after all. Weird. Music out here? What is this place? It looks like a pixie lair. Let's check it out. It only hurts dark pixies. My mom gave it to me a long time ago. This will give you the same sight as those glasses. They might be able to trick you if you can't see the pixie world like I can. Ready? have served the earth long enough. Now, thanks to me, the earth is gonna serve us. Soon, I'll have Brianna too. Then the great pixie king himself will be at my mercy. What's wrong? 
Welcome to my party. Wouldn't you like some wings, too? All you have to do is ask, and you can have your wings now. Come on, Brianna. You'll be able to fly. Don't do it, Brianna. Take my hand, Brianna. Fly with me. <laughs> for my girls. They've never been so late. They'll turn up. Well, you're up. Good evening. It's a pleasure. I, um, I, you eternally. I escaped. Can't keep a good girl down, you know. Uh-uh-uh. I don't think so. Cymbeline, show Pops what Auntie Lena gave you. Cymbeline? Wings? You gave her wings? Well, every pixie wants wings. Ha! But she... Has deserted you to join me, thereby weakening your power. And Brianna won't be surfacing anytime soon. What have you done to my... Yeah, had to get rid of her. <coughs> Are you okay? 
okay? What happened? <laughs> I think she collapsed the lair on us. We'll never dig our way out of here. No signal. Bunny Boo, what do we do? I don't know, Cool Cat. Our friends are all enchanted, and I can't phone for help. We're trapped. What is that? I don't know. Hello! Is that you girls I can hear? What's going on down there? Can you hear me? Alfie! And who were you expecting? Finn McCool himself, or maybe me cousin buried a leprechaun? Well, I hate to disappoint you, but it's me. Now stand back, everyone. It's that creepy lawn gnome from the mall. So it's a creepy lawn gnome, is it? Well, let me remind you that this creepy law gnome is responsible for you being up here in this world and not down in that nasty looking hole. Oh my gosh, a gnome nation! Tay. What happened to my sister and Chloe and Yasmin? Ah, your friends were taken away there, Brianna. Off to another party, so they said. The ball! They're after my father. Alfie, we'll never get there in time. <laughs> Dempsey! Do you think I wouldn't be bringing transportation with me? Whoa! Hello, missus! Will you stop all your tin wagon over that? And let's get moving! Hag. Girls just want to have fun. Speak plainly. All right. I want you. Out of the way and the pixie kingdom mine. Never. Oh, don't be boring. You can't stand in my way any more than your wife could. My wife? Uh, hello? Ten years ago? You don't think that blizzard came from nowhere. me that man has simply got to go but first his family's going starting with you But it took everything I had. 
My magical powers were exhausted. My storm fell apart, and I spent the next ten years rebuilding my strength till... Ta-da! Here I am. And thanks to your daughter, stronger than even you. We'll see about that. Cymbeline? And now, for you. <laughs> Saving the townsfolk has weakened you. Down in the dirt where you belong! <laughs> Conniving witch! Yep, that's me. Now say bye bye, cause it's time to join the wife. <laughs> you failed your chemistry class. Oh my gosh, say goodbye to being valedictorian. I'll never get into college. I'll be grounded for life. Medical school is out. <laughs> They're back to normal. I'll have to work in fast food with no pension plan. I'll get Cymbeline, wake up! Please wake up! Spell. Remember? She showed us once. Be brave. Hold on to each other. Never let go. And you'll be safe.
Done, my daughters. It's over, Lena. I don't think so. Dad? Without your obnoxious family, you'd be nothing. And think about it. Okay, are we done now? Thank goodness you're safe. As for you, my family owes you a debt of gratitude. We're glad we could help, sir. And unfortunately, I must remove your pixie sight forever. I knew he was going to say that. A spell of forgetfulness. Is it? Uh, sorry, Alfie. I take it back. I 